Welcome back. So let's try and figure out how Chrome actually creates an HTTP request, sends it over the wire, and how I grab the um, HTTP request here and converts it, figures out where to go to get data. I then send data back in a response all the way back to Chrome. How does that actually work? And let's start out with the actual thing we found last time using the developer tools. We had some kind of request URL, some kind of request method, and those are actually the most important things for this lesson, those two first ones. And again, if you want to know where I actually found these guys, I opened my Chrome developer tools, I selected the values request down here, and here's actually the information network, uh, values request and here's the information. So I'm reading this guy and it says I need to hit the server name doesn't matter right now but I need to hit slash API you can also see it up here slash API slash values right here okay this is the route this is the route I want to touch this is the route where I want to go that's the first thing the rest API needs to know is where do you want to go and now I'm explaining I want to go to the API values right here and let's try and go into the code and see if there's anything called API values and you'll notice there's not actually but there is something called route API and then controller because the .NET framework is built so that you can actually go here instead of using um, putting in the specific name values blah 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 customer etc you can just put in controller like this and then it'll grab the first part automatically behind the scenes which is values control, so it'll put in values. So this will actually end up looking something like this right here. API values, just like the path we're just uh, trying to get to right now. So, okay, so that's how we figure out where we want to go. This is how we figure out where do we want to go in the REST API, right? But how do we figure out what method in the REST API we want to use? Let's have a look at the methods available inside. Now we are at this point, right? We figured out that it's this controller we want to use. But what method should we use? Should we use the get? The get by ID, should we use the post, should we use the put, should we use the delete, what method should we actually use in here? Now that's actually these guys right here, these are the HTTP methods. We have four methods that we are going to use up front, that's the get, the post, the put and the delete. So they're all here the methods in this default controller that it created for us. Now how do I know inside the actual request, the HTTP request, where I should go. How do I know to hit this exact method right here? Let's have a look at the code again. If I go in here and I look down here inside my request, then you'll actually see the request method is get. Sweet! So now I know it's a get request. So what we do in the code is we say if it's a HTTP get request, use this method right here. But why are we not using this guy? Because that's also an HTTP get request because if you do not put anything after values, then you'll pick this one. If there's actually an ID after values, then we'll pick this one. But let's get back to that one. Right now, it's only an HTTP request. There's nothing after values in the browser, and that's why we get into this function right here. And let's try and actually do it. I put in a breakpoint there, and let's try and refresh the page. Again, notice API values, and it's a an get request. Let's try and go in here and do a refresh. I get into the code, it figures out API values, it's this class right here. It figures out HTTP get request, it's this function right here. It grabs some data right now, just hard-coded data. It returns it back to the system, let me just continue. And then it's returned all the way back to the browser and presented like two values. Now you know the get request. Now you know the HTTP get method. So let's have a look at what else we can do with the REST API as it is right now. Have fun.